Okay, it's time for unboxing with the bead number 13. All right, so this is obviously a plush toy from Kingdom Hearts, the Kingdom Hearts series. It is a heartless uh, shadow, which are the mob villains that you encounter primarily in Kingdom Hearts 1, but there's plenty of them in Kingdom Hearts 2 and, you know, throughout the other games of the series. But this is the mob you encounter the most in Kingdom Hearts 1. Uh, I don't have any great love for these because they don't really have any character ever. And, like, Sora turns into a heartless once, and I guess that's sort of integral to the story. But you know, Heartless, uh, in general, are just, they're, they're random mobs to me, they don't matter. But, you know, I, I will buy pretty much anything Kingdom Hearts that comes out, and this is a Kingdom Hearts action doll that Square Enix released last year that sat in my pile of loot for probably, I don't know, six months, eight months or something from Big Bad Toy Store, and finally it came and sat around on my floor for several more months. But I figure I might as well open him up because he's here and because it's a Kingdom Hearts item and I generally like those no matter what they are. So let's bust him open here and we can see his tag that tells us he is an action doll, not to be confused with a stuffed animal or a regular doll. This is an action doll. So let's see here. His antennas, mm, they're just normal. Like they've got, they've got a little, they've got a little bit of, um, stuffing inside of them that makes them firm so that they'll go back to being bent, but they're not poseable or anything. His eyes, they're, they're plastic beads. If you hit them against the wall or something, they're going to scratch. But again, nothing really special about them. His head uh, does not turn or anything, so I haven't seen the action just yet, but I can feel right here. Yep, his hands have got uh, some plastic uh, tubing inside of them that's going to allow them to be posed. My wife makes dragons and stuff like that that use this same type of plastic tubing inside and coil so that uh, they can be posed in action ways. So I'm not too surprised by this. Uh, let's see, he's got it running through his legs. He's got it in his feet. He's got it in his arm and at his elbow. He's got, he doesn't have any in his hands, but he has elbows, arms, legs, knees, and I, uh, I guess ankles. I guess we can say ankles. It's not really his feet being articulated, it's the ankles. Well, actually, no, it's the feet as well. So this is a Shadow Doll Square Enix from Kingdom Hearts. Uh, is there anything interesting inside of this tag? Yes, a bunch of warnings and uh, attention and Japanese writing, but basically just useless stuff. But the doll itself, it's a big size, it's cute. I think I paid like $50 or something for it when I paid for it, I don't know, a year ago, a year plus ago. I don't generally care very much about uh, about shadows because they don't have any personalities, there's nothing really to them. But I think that this is neat. I don't really like that he, I don't really like that his hand doesn't have that his hand doesn't have articulation in it, because I feel like that would be really important, but if you want to put his arms out so he can give you a hug, he can do that. Like, if you want him to make a gesturing motion so he can, like, call you in, like, you know, challenging you to a fight, he can do that. You want him to, like, do karate kick, he can do that. Like, this is probably the most action-packed shadow action doll that is ever going to be released, and if you're a fan of the Heartless, if you like Kingdom Hearts, you might like this. Uh, if he had individual articulation, like, in his hand, like, he could like, give you the finger or something like that, but he just doesn't. Uh, so it kind of limits things, not having that extra hand articulation. But he's a nice, he's very soft, his arms are rough. I wouldn't hold this, like, as a stuffed animal, like, to sleep with or anything. But to have him standing around and to put him into positions where he's just, like, walking around or, you know, getting ready to attack or something, he's fine. Like, cool item. Uh, bring me more Square Enix, make me more characters from Kingdom Hearts like with this type of articulation and I will happily buy them, but I like it. So for what this is, uh, I mean, I guess this is an, I guess this is an 8 out of 10 for what this is because it's a stuffed animal, it's got some movement, it's got some articulation, it's well made, it's soft, the eyes look good, the proportions look good. I like this Kingdom Hearts plushie, but if you don't like these characters, and even I don't really love these particular characters from Kingdom Hearts, you're probably not interested. But, you know, if you ever wanted an action doll of these, you're not going to do better than this. Okay, so see you guys tomorrow.